run. Just run. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a 10 sales in 10 minutes video or approximately 10 minutes. You know, if you've been following me for long enough, 10 minutes, when I say a video is going to be 10 minutes, that normally means it's going to be coming in at around 16 to 20 minutes. But we'll see what we can do. I won't do any pre-rambling. Let's get straight on with this and let's see if we can't hit around that 10 minute mark. 10 or 11 minutes, that's what I'm going for. So, vintage Bosun's Chalkware Monkey with banana wall decor figure. Let me tell you, that monkey sure does know how to hold a banana. But with that being said, I got $12.99 for this little figure here, nice little one. Uh, as I say, this is chalkware, don't quite know what that means, I'm assuming it's made out of some sort of chalk and they put wear on the end of it just to make it sound fancy, I don't know. But yeah, chalkware, $12.99 plus my postage, nice little item this. If you get some of the other, some of the animals do okay, um, yeah, I think a lot of the heads do better. Uh, if you can get maybe bundles of similar themed animals together, so maybe you could get a few of the, they do a lot of birds, it's, they seem to do a lot of birds, so maybe you could get a few birds together and group them together and then get a better price for a nice little grouping of them, it's a little bit less hassle with listing them individually and stuff, so yeah, um, you know, certain ones do okay, but this one doesn't seem to do brilliantly, I might have been able to get an extra couple of quid, I might have been able to get an extra 14 99 if I was willing to wait a little bit longer, um, but yeah, well, it did go fairly quickly at twelve ninety nine, so I'm still pretty happy with that. Probably cost me a quid or two as an individual cost in an auction job lot, so yeah, pretty happy with that one anyway. Nice little profit in that little bread and butter item. Next, we've got this rare 1975 Spoden Gilbert Sullivan uh, doily cart opera plate. Nice little design, this one. I was half expecting this to be worth about 10 quid, something like that. Maybe even a little bit less, but it turns out it's worth a little bit more, um, a little bit at least. Anyway, for uh, so I got fourteen ninety nine for this. I actually got two of these in in the same auction job lot. So obviously I've got another one of these to sell, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so fourteen ninety nine plus my postage on that one. You can see it's got a bit of information on the back there. Um, and yeah, nice nice looking little plate, um, and I was fairly happy that it was worth fourteen ninety nine. Again, one or two pound cost to me, so can't complain there. Nice little. Uh, sale there, nice little blood and butter sale. Next, we've got this Doc 2 BBC character option sealed uh, Rosen K9 figure. I originally had this up, I think I originally had it up for 14 99 but it's showing 14 50 there. I don't know quite why that is. Um, but yeah, 13 05 I eventually got for it, plus my postage. I was getting these for around £3 a figure for these sealed Doctor Who figures, so can't complain with that. You know, nice little blood and butter sale again. Um, the only issue is. With a lot of these sealed Doctor Who figures, they've tended to go fairly slow. Uh, I don't know why that is. I don't think there's particularly anything wrong with my photos or titles or anything. I just think that some of these sealed figures can be a little bit slower. I'm not sure. I might have to have a re-establish on complete and sold. Maybe I was shooting a little bit high with prices. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, they, they have seemed to go a little bit slow. But they do get picked off. I am having a few sell here and there now. So it's not so bad. But I still have got quite a few of these in stock. So it would be nice to whittle down a few of them. Next we've got this vintage uh, uh, West German Ceramics Fat Lava. Well actually I think it was just German Ceramics on the bottom of this one. Well, it just says Germany. I think it's a bit more of a modern one, this one. Um, so that's probably why I've not put West German in the, in the title. But German Ceramics, Fat Lava, Red and Black Design, Cylindrical Vase. Nice one, this one. But I was um, a bit hesitant to put it on for twenty four ninety nine or twenty nine ninety nine because I had gone on Completing Souls before listing this, like literally straight before I was listing it. And uh, I saw actually what I would deem better quality ones than this go for around the 20 quid um, and maybe there was one that had gone for 25 quid or a couple that had gone for 25 quid but they were what I would have deemed better quality than this one or better design um, obviously that's a bit subjective but you know what I deemed better design so anyway I think well I'm, my confidence is a little bit shot maybe I should just put this on at 20 quid so I'll put it on at 20 quid and what do you know it goes really really quickly within a day definitely if not within a few hours and I'm kicking myself because I'm thinking, oh my god, I bet, I bet if I had put that on at 29.99, I probably would have got it. It might have taken a little bit of time, of course, 
but I think I might have got it. It could have been just right by the right time. Yeah, granted that could have been the case, but you know, I just I never get it right with these. I either go um, too high with fat lava and then it never sells, or I get a decent piece of it and I shoot myself in the foot by a fiver. I can never get it exactly on, so yeah, if I get another one of these, definitely in this kind of red style. It's a beautiful vase, I have to say. Uh, it's really, really lovely one, and I just should have got, I should have had that confidence, but when you're seeing the raw hard data on Complete and Sold telling you 20 quid or 25 quid, and then you, and you're thinking, oh, well, I'll just go for that, and then, you know, sometimes, you, sometimes it's better not just to go off uh, raw data, it's sometimes better to go off a little bit of your gut instinct as well. Obviously, you've got to take the data into consideration, but it's sometimes worth just putting a bit of gut instinct in there as well, because otherwise you might just uh, get it slightly wrong or shoot yourself in the foot a little bit. So, yeah, I mean, I still can't complain because I got it for £2.50, so there's still a decent profit in there, and it went fast, so you can't really complain, and the element of this game is selling at the end of the day, so... Yeah, but, you know, it is a bit annoying because I probably could have got an extra five or so. Next, we've got this vintage Jewish Monera Hanukkah metal candlestick holder. Uh, 17 99 plus my postage on this. Nice little item. I literally, this would have cost me less than a quid in an auction job lot. I got this in a job lot of Jewish metalware uh, for £10 plus commission for a whole load of it. So, as an individual cost, less than a quid. So, really, really happy with that from, you know, a quid or less than a quid into 17.99 there plus my postage. Don't know how we're doing for time, but I guess we're starting to come up to the 10 minutes. So, I better be a bit quicker now. It's really actually hard to get these under 10 minutes. It's so I can't believe I used to be able to do it, but I did do I did it for months of doing, you know, in around that 10, 11 minute period. But, yeah, I seem to be rushing so much, but... Yeah, uh, this was just a vintage like bronze enameled plaque or copper or something. Uh, actually, I put bronze. I think it's meant to be brass. Should I have not put brass? Because that looks. I must have had this on for quite a while. But yeah, I would. I would put brass, not bronze. But yeah, vintage bronze, copper, uh, green enameled small decorative plate. As I say, should have put brass on that. But I must have had it for ages and ages and ages and not. At that time, not put brass for some reason. But yeah, 13.49 on this, free postage. Nice little extra from one of the job lots. Not going to cost me a lot at all. Probably coming in at around a quid. So yeah, really happy with that one. Nice little bread and butter item there. Uh, next, we've got this vintage Chinese pottery, ceramic, blue hand-painted and embellished vase. Uh, 24.99 plus my postage of this. Again, something that will only, only have cost me a couple of quid. I'm really, really... Um, getting into these Chinese pottery. I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't mean I know anything about it. I just mean I'm really starting to get into it from an appreciation level. When I get it in the auction job lots, I'm starting to appreciate it a bit more. Whereas, you know, a few a year ago, a couple of years ago, or whatever, I wasn't appreciating it. I just, did, I just brushed it off kind of thing. I didn't really, you know, I didn't really want to deal with it or anything. But I do quite like it now. And I want to actually learn a little bit more about it. I don't want to learn too much about it. Because I'm, you know, it's not really, really my thing. But um, I do want to at least learn a little bit more about it. So, yeah, 24 and I'm plus my postage on that one. Nice little item, cool looking item. Uh, and just a lovely shape as well. These Chinese vases seem to do, do seem to have a really sleek and stylish design to them. It's really quite nice and quite like almost like a little bit of a rounded design at the top that just looks really cool. But anyway, next we've got this vintage crystal maze. Uh, sorry, the crystal maze board game, not vintage. I'm so, so used to saying vintage on the, on the start of my titles that I just always say it. Uh, the Crystal Maze board game, brand new and sealed, $24.99 on that. It did have a whip to the seal there. You may have seen it in the haul video. Paid two quid for it, or at least I believe it was two quid. Um, and yeah, $24.99 plus my postage on that one. Can't really say much more about it. Nice little board game. If you see it, pick it up. Even if it's used, you're probably going to be able to get 15 quid or something for it. So if you're paying a quid or two, then it's definitely worth it. Um, and yeah, $24.99 plus my postage from two quid. Can't complain with that. Nice little quick sale as well. Uh, yeah, nothing wrong with that. So next we've got this vintage Daily, Daily Mail surrender, Falklands Island 1982 collectible newspaper. Uh, I, this went in the 10% off sale. I got nine quid for this plus my postage. As I've always said, I've said it for a few weeks, it's definitely worth picking up these papers. 
you can get 10 quid for a lot of these papers uh, you know even the more modern ones the 1970s 1980s ones a lot of them are still commanding a tenner or you can get a tenner if you're prepared to wait a little bit um, and then there's other ones obviously that are a bit more valuable for whatever reason maybe they're tied to a certain famous figure or whatever uh, and maybe you can get 30 40 quid for those ones but yeah a lot of them you can still get a tenner for so you may as well try you may as well uh, you know buy it. if you can get them for 50p a, a paper or something then you're laughing really and you can flip them in for to a tenner each time uh, yeah nice little nice little items there next or finally actually We've got this vintage cutlery, silver plate, EP knives and forks in this nice little wooden presentation box. Nothing, you know, brilliant really. It didn't have a makers on. It just simply said EP or EPNS. So, of course, I would have charged a little bit more if it had a, a, a definite makers on there. Probably would have charged twenty four ninety nine plus my postage. But I charged. I ended up charging nineteen ninety nine because of that lack of makers on there. And it went in the 10% off sale, which uh, was seventeen ninety nine plus my postage. This would have cost me maybe £3 in a auction job lot. Obviously, it would have cost me a little bit more from an auction job lot because this would have come in a slightly smaller selection of items in a job lot. So, as I say, the individual cost of it might go up slightly. But, yeah, still, £3 into seventeen ninety nine plus my postium. Still pretty happy with that. Nice little margin there. And, uh, yeah, that is everything, basically. So... Yeah, can't complain. Nice little selection of sales. Obviously, a lot of this was bread and butter. There wasn't really anything outstanding in there. Um, but it's sometimes nice just to see the bread and butter items, to see the flow of just what comes through the business, uh, you know, the, the kind of things that just keep the things ticking along, keep the sales going. And, uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please do leave it, uh, leave a like down below. If you haven't already, then please do subscribe consider subscribing to the channel and uh, i suppose i'll see you in the next one so i will see you very soon guys i'll give you what i got the alcohol of that is flowing wild so grab yourself a can of mine